You know what? This game is going to give me a heart attack. I swear to God. I mean, hopefully that doesn't sound awful. Because I can't have this on my ears anymore. But seriously, what the hell? I'm just... I don't know why. OBS just decided to change scenes to black for an hour. I'm just going to play through this up to that point. Again, only took an hour. I'm just going to talk the entire time because apparently the gods just don't want me to actually stream this. It's... Uh, pretty sure I'm going to be blowing into this mic the entire time, so I should just move it up a bit. That actually makes more sense. Okay. Hard. Don't need no tutorials. I, I just can't be pinned down like that. I might not talk a ton during the cutscene. I'll do a proper actual let's play of this eventually. If next if next school year isn't totally hell. It probably will be. Three years. It's going to take me three years to actually stream this in completion. Considering I've had to start like restart three times. I can actually see it working. That's the weird thing. It just recorded black the entire time. I, I should stop complaining. Ooh, you're going to be in insane violence for the next hour. I should just... <laughs> that should relieve me of stress. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. Yeah. Like I was good. <laughs> it's the code. Can't believe I just said, oh yeah, I'll talk during cutscenes, but I'm mm. going to it's just not say anything, I guess. Philosopher. It's cool. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking a lead vehicle. Really funny. Like, Metal Gear gets this whole big rap about how, oh, the longest cutscenes in the world. Then people complain when the story isn't that great in this movie. I mean, it's not fantastic or anything, but... It's it's a story enough for this game. I mean, sure, I would I wish there was a bit more character development and stuff, but... I mean, for um, all out action game like crazy anime samurai let's let's cut bullets out of the air the sword jump in the air run on the walls with the drift using claws cut men in half you know it works for this type of game it's not like Kojima had a ton to do with this either it's mostly platinum games but I really like platinum I mean that's funny I say that because I actually haven't played a new Platinum game. But I mean, I've watched. A, I've watched playthroughs and stuff of their other games, and if I played them, I would love them. I mean, hell, I can even love Platinum because of th this game. I mean. It's one of. It's one of my favorites, actually. It's, it's the game I keep going back and playing just because I can. I, just, I wish there was a bit more. That's really my only complaint.
like, you, you probably think, oh yeah, he's dead. You just never see a body, so it's like, eh, okay. He's got friends on our 12. Right. I'm on it. Guard the Prime Minister. Stomp. You can actually get that suit as uh, an unlockable costume, though. So. Yep. That's cool, but, uh, oh right, you have to do the first, this first mission on very hard mode. Meaning, on a new game, you have to beat the game first. Oh yeah, of course. You gotta have that anime sword cut where you only slash twice, but then you slash that Let's get this cut over with. 12 things in half. Anyway, first fight. Let's actually not be awful this time. Was I awful? I forget. I totally forget. <laughs> Pick up those hostiles. Yeah, I don't think I was awful with this part. Oop. Right, don't ha I, I got so used to the dodge move in that You'll one fight. The one fight I had the dodge the move. I got super Cutting a ton right now doesn't really help, but every enemy you cut, you get the health boost out of, so... Just because you can't do the Zondatsu yet. At that, you know, why not? Actually... Can't, oh wait, I don't have a counter right now. Should be useless. Right now you can sort of do a combo by like knocking in the air when they're. Oop. Okay, he's dead. Right, it's on the other side of that barricade. I just want to get his nano paste before I go into the ray fight, even though it shouldn't really make- oh, damn it. It shouldn't make that much of a difference. Just easier, you know, to tell if I took damage or not. I mean, I should be able to anyway. Right, they just keep coming in this part, so I might as well just move forward, but... Well, I mean, they don't just keep coming, but, but there's like six of them. Come on, attack me. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. I'm doing good play. Angry that OBS decided to switch, but whatever. I'm not. I'm not bitter. God, give me some nano paste. Apparently they just don't feel like it. Actually, probably gonna give me. Come on, give me some nano paste. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. I'll just run. Screw it. Ugh. What is this? Come on. All gone yet? Seriously? If you can't like, how many are you? Try defense, huh? What are you? Can't cut through the barricade. I'm gonna beat my mic so I can drink a lot of water.
Oh, one thing about Raiden is, uh, in the first game he was in, MGS2, so came, obviously it came after MGS1, the and the actual minister? character of Raiden was in dead. response to a ton of, you know, Nothing personal, the, of course. A, not a ton, I say, a, a, just a, a good part of the fan base, what? and by good part I mean just a large Everything section the of the fan base of so MGS, that we can't really a connect to an old, economy. like, grizzled huh? war veteran, well, like, Solid like Snake. So uh, then Kojima's like, okay, we'll just put in Raiden. We'll make him a girly, long-haired <laughs> anime boy with real-life issues, like a girlfriend. And we'll just make him whine a ton, and then they now. put him in MGS2. And people didn't like that, so then they Not made uh, Snake Eater, and then that was a beautiful game. So... So long. I still like Raiden though. After a large portion of MGS2, I definitely he's really good in this game. I mean, I mean he's just you know, ugh, Jack is back. But besides that, he's you know, anime, anime samurai, nin cyborg ninja person, you know. Whatever, let's just deal with this raid and try not to take that much damage. You don't even have to parry. That's why the tail is annoying. Because technically you have to parry it. But, um, yeah, technically you have to parry it just because of the timing of the actual block. Because the way you block in this game, it doesn't have its own button. You have to wait for an attack and then aim the, like, left control stick at it, and then press the light attack button, which a lot of people are like, oh, this is dumb, but it really works, so I don't have any complaints. Ow, I already took taking a lot more damage than I should have. Is it charge? Oh, he's using laser beams. Doing the slide attack really helps. Nope. Nope. I locked onto the... Come on. What are you going to use on me? Oh, you're jumping. Okay, that's cool. This boss is... Oh, what? Okay. I don't know what just happened. I don't know why he went over me. I was probably too close or something. Whatever. I forget how easy this boss is in um, hard mode, because when I try to do it on very hard mode, uh, it takes like twice as long, and even after cutting off every single body part, it still has health left. Oh good. The block. And now I just run up to it after it jumps. So that's cool. This boss is basically over with at this now point. Bring it down. Watch a laser. There we go. And rip. And I hope you can hear that tapping. Actually, you probably can't because that's better off, so you couldn't. But if you can. Yeah, there's a lot of tapping. You don't have to. T I don't think you have to tap as fast as I am. It, you have to tap pretty fast, but nothing like, nothing like MGS torture segments, no. On hard, I, I think on harder difficulties, not faster. Oh, dude, S rank, yes! I beat it fast enough, I'm pretty sure that's why. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wait. Oh. Right, there we go. Cool, I got lost. That's awesome. Once Ninja Run actually works. Okie dokie, there we go. There, get him. Glad the riding couldn't see him before. Use it's your good. Ninja Run to move over obstacles automatically. Ninja Run and get that collectible that's hiding down here. If you hold down on the control stick while in blade mode, you can actually boom and slap. There we go, got it. 
I think David's storage is concept art and stuff like that. Not let him out of your sight. You I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, you shouldn't take my word for anything I ever say ever, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. I don't really look at it that much. Whatever, but pop, 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 pop. You can never catch up to him, so it doesn't really matter. This is more of a tutorial for uh, ninja running and stuff. It's basically saying, hey, this is here. You should use it sometimes. It still works? Yes. As much damage to it as possible. That one. That one? Oh. Yeah, I got hit. Cool. I uh, wasn't going to get that second ass rank anyway. Oh. Okay. Apparently I did enough damage, I think? I don't know. Come on, shoot some missiles so I can get my health back. You can see the, like, oh, you use blade mode, because I was already holding down the button. I know when I can do this stuff. I've played this game too many times, is what I'm saying. On the second day, it already got through the game twice. If that says anything. The day after it came out, I had already gone through the gameplay. I really like this game, guys. <laughs> not that great at it, but I'm not great at a lot of games I like. Just look at Zelda, seriously. I'm just balls at that. Whoa! That was really quick. Seriously, like, I'm pretty sure uh, the, uh, very hard to make this so much easier. Oh, and by the way, the missiles he jumps on are different every time. It's sort of a, um, it's sort of, what's it called? It's sort of a pre-programmed, scripted, that's the word, scripted. It's sort of scripted, but at the same time, as you can see, I was crawling up to green stuff. Yeah, that's just ninja running. That's how it's programmed. It's scripted so that if you aren't pressing forward and holding the ninja run, then you fall. That's about it. All that was ninja running. Okay, this time, let's jump over the gap. Get the watch out for the missiles, too. Yeah! Didn't die this time. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a very anime cut time. And of course, they gotta do the whole when you stick it in the sheath, it cuts in half. No, seriously, I got tingles the first time I played that. Yeah, double S rank. I'm actually getting an S rank? Yes! S rank for the chapter. High five. That was a self high five. No, I'm really excited. You don't even understand how excited I am right now that I wasn't even trying to get that S those two S ranks, and I got him. I don't care how much, how many times I got hit by like easy or dodge attacks. I don't care how even that's the first boss fight. I got S ranks without restarting once. Grab that. Oh, that. 
I don't know why his blade sizzle. That's not even a thing that comes in. I mean, obviously this dude's gonna have a boss fight. That, that sizzling doesn't really come in during the boss fight at all. But I don't even understand what that is. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. Still, I mean, just cutting the guy's really guy's throat really just. You I have this thing listen. about my throat. I don't know why. Like, if it's not covered, then I just feel. Ugh, I don't know. Let's talk about me some more. Mind if I got in? And let's make the joke again. Oh, Get it? it. <laughs> 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 he has a sword cut. Get it? Ow. Just to say the least. No. Havoc physics. Yeah. Damn it. Joke broken. Anyway, I was going to say Havoc's physics ended. I have the speech. Apparently. I just realized that game's the game's probably really loud and it's about at the same level as I've been for this entire time. <laughs> Which probably isn't good, so I should turn me up a bit. Yeah, it's gonna appear on the screen, get over it. Actually, that's I probably will have more issues with that than most people. Let's go. I really like uh Sam's team, but as I said, I like someone else's better. Okay. Should I try to fight? I, oh. Yep, already down to 60 health. Oh, and every time... One of the reasons um, Ray is sort of annoying to get an S rank on is because during this... Um, Prologue section, you don't actually get any of the upgrades if you decide to go back and play this chapter again. Since you're not, um, like, Super Cyborg Raiden with the, like, eye patch and everything, you're Human Raiden with the Cyborg suit, you, uh, you don't have any of the upgrades, but in all the other chapters, you will have the upgrades. I mean, this chapter's sort of different. It's supposed to, you're supposed to feel weak. Just because you got, you know, they've got to make a, uh, they've got to make an antagonist. I know it's antagonist. Joke. Uh, now I see. You deny your weapon its purpose. Huh? Oh, my scabbard's gone. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. Uh, for some reason, the Xbox 360 version of this game has a sort of like... Uh, it might be a compression issue for all these, um, the, the cutscenes. I don't know. I know the PS3 one's the clearer, but... Whatever, I don't have a PS3. The Xbox for some reason, even though I should have done Like, looking back, there's not really any Xbox exclusives that I care about. There's a ton of PS3 exclusives that I do, though I'm an idiot. Basically, and the only reason I got a 360 in the first place was because my PC sucked, and then I fixed it. So that's one reason why I'm streaming now, and another why, you know, um, why I really regret not having a PS3. I guess I don't know. Let's just bleed out. Oh, oh, eh. Kill me. S swivel that stick around in a circle. That's all you really need to do. There we go. A lot of blood. This game is bloody. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. Mostly because it's supposed to be like that. In the first place. It's over. Oh. 
I don't believe you can kill any... No, you can't kill any, like, pure humans. There's always some sort of <laughs> cyborg <Lucky> attachment <laughs> to them. So, if your morality like that... Has, if your morality has to be like that, then they're somewhat cyborg. They're all bad guys, okay? All that matters. Yeah, let's just spoil the, you know, the game's moral choice. Not really a moral choice. You still kill people after you get that. Whatever, shut up! That hop was weird. It sort of jumped higher than the actual handle. Now, I'm not gonna do any of the codex and stuff, but if you call it Boris, it's like, yeah, don't take it too, like, this mission too harshly. It's all my fault because I, I bought cheap. I was cheap, basically, because that, that uh, stinger missile or whatever you want to call it, it's, uh, it's definitely an old, older thing. That's why the flares actually affected it. He had bought a new rocket launcher for what is this, 2018, 2017, somewhere in there. Then, you know, that wouldn't have happened and they wouldn't have gotten away with it too. If it weren't for Boris. But they got away with it because we had outdated technology. Then again, there wouldn't be a game, so I'm not complaining. Let's get that sweet, sweet S rank. Ah, yes. Five. Thousand BP. That's so sweet. Three weeks later. So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel to fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. So, uh, in another codec we thing, you, you can call um, Just relax a and character that is about to be, right. you know, shown Doctor, right. my him, Doctor. the one in the right. Oh, right. Yeah, if you talk to him, he's the one who did the whole cyborg body. So, he explains that that whole eye patch, that whole eye patch that Raiden has and all the art and stuff, that is one big eye. I'm not going to do any of the code calls in um, this stream, but yeah, that's just one big eye. Like, oh, we didn't, we, we didn't have enough time to make a actual eyes so we just gave you a bandana and put eye data in it. Oh this whole left hand thing that's another collectible. Only certain cyborgs have it though. If you get all of them, like if you get half of them you get a weapon and if you get all of them you get another weapon. So it's cool. So I'll be trying to get most of those. At least the first collectible. I'm probably going to mix at least one. At least when you go into blade mode, you can see when they have the arm. The left hand. So, usually, most of those guys you can sneak up on and just stab them. So, then you go into super slow blade mode and you can cut off their arm and pick it up. But, whatever, it's easy enough. What I'm worried about is, like, an alternate path or a fight that you have to beat another fight and then go back to that ends up having one of those guys in it. I know for sure that I'm going to get, like, the first weapon. I just sort of want the second weapon. But there's this whole weird running joke between... Uh, what's her name? And his Kevin and Courtney. That Courtney keeps putting the coffee cup else. really close to the edge, and Kevin keeps moving it back. And, like, I, I don't understand why it's there, because these characters aren't really fleshed out that much unless you listen to every single freaking codec, which there's like a million in this game. 
believe you've met. Because people complained that MGS4 didn't have that many codecs. Which they sort of made up with in Peace Walker because that game had like a thousand codecs. But this game has a lot of codecs too. Ooh. Ooh, get it. Ready for insertion. Yeah, as I said in that previous stream that I deleted because it ended up being black because for some reason OBS decided to um, change the scene on me for God knows what reason. Uh, yeah, this game has a much lighter tone than the other Metal Gears, so it's more jokey without being like weird. Which I mean, really fits the game. The fact that it's just a crazy action game, you know, let's chop people up without actually caring, you know, stuff like that. As I said, it's a man-cutting simulator. It's it's a man-cutting simulator, so. And oh, he's got the eye thing. So it's not even like he's really that. I find that it's really dumb. Okay. Yeah, let's just make an eye all the way across. Oh, touch the mic. Sorry. I forget that it's right there and not down right. here by you my chin. Safely, huh? It's First up there by my eye. The waypoint is marked on your solitan radar. Contact us on codec if you have questions. Just cutting things up because I can. So they're strong and light attacks, you know, it's just like Bayonetta. A lot of the things actually come from Bayonetta. Anyway. Gotta get Easter egg cat. Flip! Look at that backflip. And I like how the barrels, when you cut them, they're hollow. Anyway, let's go up to this, um, totally not sneak attack. Oh, hit a checkpoint. Oh, and you can see on the back of the sword, the sheath right there, it tells you the blade, the blade mode thing. If it's blue, then you can go into blade mode. It's yellow, just like the blade mode bar, obviously. It's basically the color of the blade mode bar. That we'll be upgrading because you're gonna need it. It's a grenade. Don't start a fight like that. Can't see anyone else. A grenade. Slam. Slam, bam, thank you, man. Ooh! Double! Or to just want to keep this guy and do that. That's what I wanted because I can get a good combo going as I slash up his body. Yeah, 25 heads. That'll be good. Cool. Leave. I did that with no damage. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going for all S ranks because one, I can't really retry. So it would be like. That would be the worst challenge. All S ranks, permadeath. And by permadeath, it means if you don't get an S rank, then you have to stop and start over. This body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel was I mean, it's completely possible. It's just that it takes an immense well, amount of skill, especially in the later years. parts. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer to Probably if you end up getting the no damage, like yeah, you took no damage because that gets you an extra thousand points. Thousand points. Of collateral damage than your typical UAV um, you're probably going to get an S rank, so that's what you want to strive for. But otherwise, it's a good idea to. Uh... PMCs, on the other hand, oh, he's gonna. Yeah, that's what I was talking about—the whole coffee thing. Yeah, they still don't even. It's got a question mark on it. See, handles a question mark. With SOP out of the picture. Cool, I guess. A new edge on the so yeah, we got there's another thing you can do. In which, if you cut off a cyborg's legs, but not their, like, main part of the body, then they will fall to the ground, and they will attempt to crawl up after you and slash you because, like, that's the way their cyborg brain works. All their fear and pain, it's all inhibited and stuff, using nanomachines. And, you know, just basic technology. So... You can get people. bonus points people there too. I think that actually gets you like 1,500. But they usually, if you go for job. um no kills, I'm just the Reaper. You uh Damn. don't get the Zandatsu, and the cold, Zandatsu right? sort of Even for kicks you. you over. Anyway, uh, so his no kills Let's doesn't really work for a lot of fights. It can work, 
there's certain um, ranked fights that you should do it in just because it's extremely easy to but for the most part it's not really that great yeah I did get no damage that's cool oh good thing I got no damage or else I would have gotten an A for that time as long as you get like really good time and really good combo and you do enough zandatsus you should be fine for an S rank if you get hit no one in sight but it's just a really good cushion to have you know and this is obviously hiding some load times you could even see the loading and I think it's once you get the prompt to us get these codec calls then you know loadings over but Cross the bridge it's a good way to do town. it because I mean then head down to the rear it makes the sense for the call to be Still, there I, I guess they will probably have a grand it's not just um, the stream the in which you can't see the, all the info it's really hard to actually see the info during those uh, those coda calls whatever let's ninja run there's just some collectibles I need to grab well I don't need to grab I just want to so I might stream again tomorrow night. If I do, it's probably going to be the one Phoenix Wright game I haven't finished. Just because the new one's coming out soonish in America. I mean, I just want to get all the ones I haven't done done. But that's one. I probably won't get that far in it. Probably I might. I'll definitely get the tutorial mission done, the tutorial court case, but I might only get to the first court in the second second case turnabout whatever you want to call it but besides that it'll be cool yeah because I'm uploading this once I'm done I know that for sure actually you know what I might just finish this chapter off because I know it's working this time the only re I was going to finish it in that last hour but of course then I saw hey the screen's black Hey, it switched scenes for some reason. Hey, I might actually be able to save that civvy this time. That one right there, the one in the middle of the screen. Those two guys. If I don't ninja run, that's it got the attention of the guard on the bridge. Oh, what the hell? No, I'm just going to restart because that's bullshit. They shouldn't have seen me. It doesn't work like that. This is bullshit. This game sucks. Ugh, this game's controls. Motherfucker. Um, did I get the chest? No. I mean, it's just grenades. But grenades can be useful in certain fights. You just know, need to know where to... Uh, uh. If I ninja run over here, I should be... Yeah, that was my problem. Okay. Ugh, I didn't want to restart at all, but yeah, that was seriously bullshit. Another guy on the bridge. I mean, you can see through walls where they are, and I can get up these boxes if I keep trying. There we go. Yeah, it's not the best sneaking, because I can drop this on him and he won't even notice. And I can run up right behind him and he won't even notice. So, you know, it's cool. I mean, it's good for a game like this not to have intense sneaking because people would complain. Climb, come on. I know you can get up there. Okay, ninja run up. Oh, there we go. Fine, I'll run up here. Ah, I should take out these guys first. Double jump. It's easier if you do it like this, because then... Or, no, you can't. Never mind, I lied. Oh! I kicked the guy in the face. By accident. I killed him. That is my own fault. Oops. Okay, anyway! I'm not going to retry again, because the... That was my own fault and not the games. So I will take full responsibility for that. I forget what's up there, so you know what? I take full responsibility for that, but just easier. 
Ugh, I feel like a noob right now. Just a lame noob. I'm not even gonna get their grenade. Okay, time to just click like. Not even going to ninja cut him. You won't even notice. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, stop restarting. I'm just doing this on, like... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. The only reason I even got good at this game is because I just keep restarting. It's kind of sad, but whatever. This is the last time. Let's actually stab, ninja stab him. I'm pretty sure that is what caused the guy to run over here. Yeah, because he's not even facing this way. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, if we run over and get this chest and then fall down on the guy. I'll just wait. Might as well. I mean, that's what stealth is, right? Waiting. Where is he? Just tap B. It'll be cool. Okay, let's not be an idiot this time and use the sweep kick. I don't even what normally. Oh. This area is off limits. What? No. Okay, now I'm good. Oh, can I get him? Get off. Yeah, I did it. I got both of them. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Now, I did it. I saved a civilian. Safe. Good job. One thing you can do with civvies? Run after them? Hide. This guy runs out too quickly, but yeah, you cut off their clothes. Yeah, that bores is that your teammates respond. Like, what the fuck? Come on, Raiden. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm just... You know what? Easter eggs. That's why. Ooh. Right. I want to, before I do that, I think that checkpointed me. I just want to grab that. I just want to grab the dodge and aerial block moves right now. If that didn't checkpoint me, fuck it. I'm just, I saved that civvy. Ooh, I can buy one more. Right, because I S-ranked it. Yeah, I'll leave them for later. If I have too many moves at once, I'm just going to get, like, over. If I... I'll be using moves that I haven't got yet. And, you know, I'll just get overwhelmed. Besides... Oh, damn it! I have to save that Sippy again. You know what? Yeah, might as well. Nope, not even gonna happen. Let's just take out everyone. I don't even care. I saved that civvy, it's been on record. Oh, that guy is a rocket launcher. I'm gonna keep getting points. Oh, they can block, by the way. Doesn't really do much, though. Just, if you just keep tapping the uh, light attack button, should be fine. Why did I go into blade mode instead of blocking? Uh, because I'm an idiot, apparently. That was entirely my fault. I hate the game for things, but... Because this is such a good game. Whatever. Oh, great, I don't have blade mode. Whatever. I'll get it back soon enough. Let's hope the, um... And this is a gecko. Let's hope the gecko does its, uh, attack which, in which I can go quickly into the instant kill. Actually, no, I have to build up blade mode again, don't I? Because if I don't... 
then I can't actually do the insta kill as you saw there. Damn it, I took damage. Whatever. So good DS rank. I wish I could see the gecko because it's the biggest like pain right now. Ah, damn it! I'm gonna take damage because oh yes, insta kill. Wait, now I have to. Oh, don't have any blade mode. Uh oh, ow, pain. You know, I'm not used to playing this game without a uh, instant blade, like infinite blade mode, because of the unlockable you get. So that's why I keep trying to cut things that I can't. Okay, let's take out this last guy. He's bothering me. Ah! Oh, I messed up. And I got an A. Whatever. Very good, Ryan. Now, keep heading for refinery. Whatever. And you know what? I stealthed it last time. I should stealth it again. Because I'm a perfectionist. Gotta go stabby. There goes his head. Wanna run all the way back here. You sorta of wanna let the geckos stay out of the way. They're not the biggest problem, it's more the dudes. Because they have they seem to have a bigger radius of sight. You have to worry more about that guy over there. But let's cut off his head. Oh, usually that guy sees me. Weird. Run up behind him. Come in the back. Head. Arms. Get as many points as I can. Where that other echo is. There it is. I mean, this is the intro to like, well, technically that whole city section was the intro to stealth. But this is the first one where you could either, ch if you want to save the Sibi, you can either choose to fight or stealth. But whatever. Got this one. That's that section. That's good. Got that over with. Uh, uh, my honor has been restored. Nice Echoes right. are actually pretty fun to fight with, especially when you have two. It's just that when you have. It's sort of annoying because you can keep the geckos in range easily so they don't end up using their dumb uh, their dumb little like turrets on their head. But if there's other guys, especially in this area, because they all have rocket launchers in this area so they end up shooting you with disregard to their friends. But Usually people just start picking at you with their guns, and it's like, oh, I just took point one damage, but you still lose the no damage portion of your score, so it sucks, but whatever. Got our first VR mission. Got it, and I don't care. Let's go. Up. Oh, there we go. The stairs would go. And by up the stairs, I mean up the side of the stairs. Yeah. Uh. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself.
prototype. Interface prototype. That's, I, I'm pretty sure that's the only time they do the whole, like, the guy says something and then your main protagonist says the same thing but in a question. You don't say. Okay. I, I really like this. I mean, if you think about it, right here, Raiden's asking a robot dog what's the meaning of life. And that's exactly the kind of, um, like, tone setting thing that this game has. I mean, just look at this. He caught up with his foot. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. I actually really Should like this I fight. I mean, obviously, order, there's a fight that's going to come up right now, so whatever. I, must I just you. really like it. I mean, mostly like because I played it like a trillion times it. during the demo. Your that's an exaggeration. I only played it like 10. I played through that demo a lot, basically. So much so that I could consistently get an S rank on this fight during the demo. And I'm uh, I'm pretty sure the demo had lower standards for the S rank, I think. Might have had higher, actually. Uh, it's one of those two, obviously, but I just know it didn't have the same standards. And you can use your sub weapons. Oh, I missed. I hate this. And when it gets to that last, um, like when it pauses, that's when you want to block it. That, that, that's, that one, um, he pins you to the ground. And then chainsaws your chest as you're about to see right now. And he does a lot of damage. Like he does more than a fourth of your damage. But yeah, this fight, I mean, this is the first real, like, I'd call it, it's, it's the first real AI fight. And by AI, I mean, it's something you can, oh, I stunned all three of them. This is awesome. Speed running tactic. Ooh, I might, let me aim. I, I, run. Ah, oh, damn it. And I didn't get any Zandatsis right there. That's fucking awful. Okay. I, I was too greedy there. That trips him up, that uh, combo, the uh, strong attack pause. Um, the, uh, the strong attack pause light attack combo. The strongest combo in the game, by the way. Hey, I actually buried that one. Oh yeah, just to brag some more about the whole demo thing, I actually got to the point where I could uh, cons consistently parry him as well. I play that demo a bit too much, if you can't tell. I mean, I haven't played this level in a while. Oh good, insta-kill attack that you just block and tap Y. Oh, no! Shit! Well, I totally messed that up. That's why the dodge move is so good. You can see I dodged... Oh, good. Good, I, I get to actually do its insta-kill attack this time and not try to instantly go into blade mode. There we go. If you attack right as you come into blade mode, you should be able to Zandatsu it. That's good. I believe I need to get my combo up now. Though it might be easier to do later. So if you're able to parry him, that's the best time to actually use the uh, rocket launcher. Because he'll be stunned momentarily. But screw that. There we go. You can actually defeat him without doing this uh, this insta kill right here. You just have to get him down to like 
zero. But why would you do that? Because you can get a better time score if you do this. Let's get our um our combat hit up. I do not continue. That's sad. It's okay. We won't be seeing the last of him. A B? What? And after all that bragging, too. Okay. Let's go see what's in here. I believe there's something in here. Okay. There's a chest. But there's something I can collect with it. Oh, show. Oh. Another concept art. Up here is another stealth section, but I find it much easier just to run into it. Just because the stealth section is sort of weird. There's three guys and they're almost constantly looking at each other. It's just that the two guys have shields, so you might want to take out one of them. I'm trying to find this guy. This guy, the guy that I actually injured and would have he would have died if I didn't cut out his inside. So one way to get these guys out of their thing is to either get behind them by doing the dodges or um, bury them or just do enough damage as I just did there. One guy left. Gotta get I don't think this is Oh, nice! Spun him around and cut him in half. That's sweet as hell. I don't believe that was a um called a ranked fight, but whatever. That was fun to do. Every fight oh not, I wouldn't say every fight. There are some obnoxious fights in this game, but for the most part they're doable. Most of the obnoxious fights are in the higher difficulties than hard. Hard is really easy. And I'm, I'm not saying that hard is actually, like, easy mode. I'm saying hard is relatively easy compared to other games' hard mode. This game should really be played first on hard. I played it on normal first, and I breezed through that. And I normally suck at games. And right after a, um, like, a, right after what can be considered a boss fight, for doing this thing, just run down the middle, you'll be fine. It's somewhat timed, but you can follow your death there if you're not constantly running straight. But besides that, oh, and hey, now we're fighting a helicopter. And these homing missiles, it's basically how right now you should be able to. Uh, wait. And it should just home in on itself. And it should come down now, but it's not going to. That's good. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, and I don't have the uh, move I should be, I should have right now, because I'm an idiot and didn't grab it. Oh, you came down to the ground. You're dead. Come back, please. I wasn't locked on. Good, good. This fight's gonna be a whole lot harder because I don't have that move. It's a homing, like kick. Oh, there goes this S rank. You can get to like swoop. I'm pretty sure it has a swooping move, I forget. Yeah, after this fight I should definitely um Shit. No. Um I should definitely uh buy that move. Because we're gonna be fighting a lot more. Well I, I say a lot more. I mean, there's a couple more fights with this. Oh, it does swoop. I knew it swooped. God, this fight's taking forever. It shouldn't take this long. Oh, now you come down? That's cool.
Oh, now I got a blue, so I can show you something cool. Now if we wait, lock on, lock on. That's not what I wanted. Come on, do your thing. Oh, I wanted. Let's be closer. Okay, whatever. It's supposed to give you a like sort of thing right now, which I you can run up, like run up the missiles and they cut it in half. But apparently it doesn't feel like working now. I'm just gonna have to. Uh, this fight, like this fight, isn't that hard. You can tell that I'm not having difficulty with it, it's just that I don't have that one move that makes these fights really easy. So it's really long right now. I'm just gonna cut it in half because I'm not I I could care less right now. My rank is already gonna be like piss poor. Because of time. Two and a half minutes. Okay, so we got EM grenades. That's because there are there's another guy up there. And I don't think I said it, but you only have to take out the two guys near the guy to actually like save the dude. So we just want to oh, shit. Of course I don't have any blade mode when that happens. And I cut everything except the Zandatsu point. And I'm pretty sure since I used that EM grenade, they're not going to attack the dude. There we go. Oh, and these guys are going to be a pain. Flying dudes, because... Because I don't have the homing move! I think besides that, the guy's fine. I got it. I think I got both of them. Yeah, I did. I just need to take out this guy, which should be easy enough. You get a uh, blade mode meter back by either attacking them or just cutting up their spines. Bam. You're safe, dude. Next time I see that check um that ch checkpoint marker, I'm definitely going to so that's uh, where they're up. get Some that move because I desperately gate. need it. There we go. Most okay. It opens only if you have I have to right wait for this talking to be done though. In your left hand. So this is Perhaps the introduction part to the hands collectible. And, uh, it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. I just wanna... I, I desperately need that move. It's a really good move, too. Just aerial attack-wise, because... I know it doesn't seem it, but if I'm giving given a choice in a game, I will almost always go aerial. So, Do we have it? Oh, do I? Yeah, I have to buy certain. There we go. Okay, now I have it. Good. Good. And I probably should get some life and fuel cells, but I'll save all that stuff for the end of the chapter. I can do that all on my own. It's mostly the stuff I need now. So, uh. I, I totally forget how to do one of them, but that one's just... Well, I need an enemy. So, hey guys. There it is. And it can go up too. So that's the point. I could have gone up to that hammerhead, which is the helicopter thing, multiple times and just fought it like that, but... Yeah, screwed it. Neither, none of these guys have the uh, actual hand, so I'm just gonna kill them. This isn't ranked, so I don't care. Attack me.
Okay, so the actual ranked guy, the actual guy with the hand is right there. See, his hand is a different color. Cut like that. Get his um, spine and just pick up his hand off the ground. So we got that. Oh, and I guess we can get the M grenade back too. And if we saw, if we're careful looking back there, we can come back here and have a secret rank fight right here with these things. And now I can actually pick them. Oh, one cool thing about this fight is that it's almost, it's very easy to actually do a no-kill run. I believe it might just be that one dude. And then it's a bunch of like, these things, which I'm getting my ass handed to right now because I don't have in infinite uh, blade mode. The best, by the way. Like, once you have it, you really don't want to go back. It sort of makes certain aspects of the game broken, but for the most part, most things that are you need blade mode for are timed anyway. Ow. What? Ow. These are all machines. Oh, and you can blade mode them too, it's just sort of hard. They move around a lot. Oh god, I'm doing awful at this. I'm so used to infinite blade mode, it's so nice. There we go, and I think we Nope, there's not. Yeah, I got the no kill bonus, and I still got an A, even though my time was abysmal. And I didn't get any Zendatsus. If I got some Zandatsus right there, I would have gotten an S. So that's how nice the no kill thing is. And if I cut this once. Twice. Three times. times. There we go. Turns blue and then it blows up. Blow up. There we go. Blow up! Everything I know is a lie. There we go, now it's gonna blow up. The reason it blows up so easily, I thought it blew up so easily, is because I had all the power-ups. So, like, my attack did so much more. Whatever. I'm pretty sure there's some, like, chest up here I can grab. It might just be, like, key and health and stuff. Yeah. There is no, like, secret chest. A treasure chest, and more just chests. Battle container. Grab that. Then we can put our hand in. Unlocked. Sweet. Okay. Now that it's unlocked. This fight's sort of hard not um, to do. Uh, what's it called? No. Um. Not no kill. No damage. Because there's so many dudes and this is a new enemy. It's a stronger dude and it can parry your parries. Ow. If you want to start learning how to use um, dodges, you should start learning with this enemy. Oh, and that's the... Uh, the rising kick we got. That uh, thing that keeps launching the enemies up in the air. It's pretty sweet. I usually do it by accident mostly. Oh great, another one. Oh, and you don't instantly... Um, you don't instantly get them all like... Oh, you can Zendatsu them now. You have to do a ton of damage to them. And you can cut them up bit by bit. Which is pretty cool. So you can like cut off their arms and then they can only use kicks instead of their sword and stuff like that. It's really useful, but usually you're too busy just dodging its attacks to actually like cut it open. But if it like that, ooh, I cut that guy art really well. Whoa, dude, that combat, that combat rank. And hey, that's pretty sweet. Mostly it's, it is the time and the fact that I got hit.
be a photo frame. I know there's a collectible in here. Back here. Yeah. You can tell if you missed one of these because they go, um, I think I missed one. Um, no, mm, I probably missed one. You can tell because they sort of go up sequentially, I think. Oh, there we go. There goes the tip. Okay. And I didn't get that 3D photo frame. I mean, it's not really important. That's not a collectible. Um, it's the magazines, but it's future magazines in which it gets like a holographic image of the naked lady. Well, a uh, scantily clad lady. And the cyborgs are still enamored by it. Even though their, uh, their pain and their fear have been inhibit eh, inhibited, their, their boners haven't. Yeah, I like this game's humor. I just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. Sneak in. Okie dokie, so, uh, this is almost, I think, I mean, I consider this the second half of the level, but it's probably a little more than that. Mostly cutscene-wise, though. Just because, basically, from here to, uh, oh god, I got his hand, too. Totally forgot that guy had a hand to collect. More classified Patriot information was in that I was considering a stealth memory. section, by the way. There's more dudes to stealth guy on the roof. He doesn't know I'm here. But this is a ranked fight, so I don't want to kill too many of them. I I'm pretty sure this is a ranked fight. Oh, and by the way, cut down the, the uh, Ferris wheel. And it will crush enemies if they're under it, but I missed all of them. So there will be a couple rocket launcher dudes and a couple, and there's a, what's it called, a gecko. There's two geckos. This is where the whole, oh, yes, I parried it. I'm getting good. I'm really happy about this. Oh, he parried my attack. What the hell? Oh, I'm too far away. Hold on. No. Stop. I, this is why I don't like walking around. My oh, shit. Well, there goes my no damage. They really don't care about their comrades. Oh, it, it jumped. I mean, it's a gecko, so it really doesn't care. Oh, I didn't have full blade mode there. I can. Shit, 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 fuck. Yes. <clears throat> Just want to get as many Zandatsus as I can so I can get the door up. Oh, I took damage again. I mean, after the first hit, it doesn't really make a difference. It just slows you down. Oh, good. But I need it. And just tap the speed of light. That's 
Oh, I was sliding down its bits there. And A, that's good enough. Go back here, yes. Uh, somewhere around here there are... There it is. Yes. So this is a special one. This usually has upgrades in it. That's its special... Like, if you see that, you have to cut the front. This one only gave you uh, a lot of money. But there's other ones that we'll be seeing later that either have, like, blade mode or health upgrades. No. You want to keep your eye out for those. There should be dudes right there. So I want to sneak up on at least one of them. Ooh, one of them has a hand. That's why you want to sneak up so you can get the hands. Oh, and uh, grenade... Like, the enemy's grenades actually affect enemies. So... Like, they can actually help you sometimes. Ooh, now I can get his hand. That's the only reason I'm not doing, like, the kill right now. I mean, I'm killing him, but I'm not doing the, uh, execute. Ow. Gonna keep blocking, and then he gets staggered, and that's when you go in for the kill. Oh, I got him. Once you start cutting off this, he gets much easier to deal with. Let's just cut off this bit. If you cut off too many bits, then they just end up dying. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's good. That wasn't a rank fight or anything. Unfortunately. Okay, just have to We intercepted here. call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position I guess we're going is back. on the radar. You can engage This is if also a rank fight, that's another reason I'm going back, and guess what? Two helicopters! But I got the kick now, so I should be fine. Like, like if you deal with one at a time, it's pretty easy. They go. They can go out of um, the kick speech, but for the most part, it should be easy enough. Oh, and if if it's attacking you, you're gonna wanna use the. Uh, you're gonna wanna chop while using your ninja run. Oh, that's the. Uh, that right there would be the. Uh, hell, you saw it. Shit, I keep getting hit though. By the other helicopter. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's just the running on the missiles thing, but. And cut it up. So that's another reason you would do it. Okay. I was looking at one chance. Oh, damn it. I'm going to die. Things don't give you health. Um. Wow. Got the animation. And. That. That'll stun him. Get some sweet combos off. Uh oh. Dodge those missiles. Shoot the other one. Oop, there we go. I'm just gonna cut it so I don't end up dying. Cool. Not gonna get too good rank. Like I said, B. B for. Bad. Even though D is the lowest rank. That's not health. That should. Whatever, I'm just gonna heal. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna equip it because that's the lamer's game, but I just can't hear the beeping anymore. Okay, so this is the last section. We're almost at the uh, actual the place. The is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. 
There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. Okay. Oh, that's a checkpoint. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep upgrading, I guess. I can't deal with um, how low my actual damage output is, so I'm just going to go into the upgrades. Now. So, for weapons, each weapon you have to upgrade its own stats. It has, like, every weapon has different ones, but everyone basically has strength, absorption, and energy. And you can read what it says, but I'm just going to get a strength, absorption, energy. And that's all I can do right now. So that's good enough. Actually, I can afford everything, so I'm just going to grab everything. All I can. There. You know what? I'm pretty sure I can afford all these skills. I can't afford that. Whatever. Thunderstrike isn't that. I would be able to afford them if I got constant S ranks, but I need to leave. There we go. Whatever. I should be better now. Better off, at least. Yeah, I'm down here. I forgot what I got. I, I don't know what like things I just got, but whatever. Oh wait, it's that, and then... Hmm. More nano piece. And guess what? Oh! Favorite enemy in the game. I mean, they're annoying to deal with and stuff, but they're my favorite enemies because they're how ridiculous they are. How cute they are. Here. Uh, what are they called? Watch out. I, keep on I mean, they're mini geckos, I think. I don't know. They're not mini geckos. Shit, whatever. Yeah, they're annoying. Never mind, I hate them. I just like their like mannerism. We'll see later. I always forget their names. It's weird because like I like them a lot. Usually I'm good with names of enemies and stuff, as you can see if I'm playing Kingdom Hearts at all. I can never remember. I'm beneath. Cutting them just makes it easier to pick them up. They all drop health and stuff. B! I'm doing really good for now. Don't say if it is team They're not doing fantastic and I've just gotten... But it's just worse and worse as it goes on exponentially. So, you can either use um, a jamming grenade, which is basically a chaff grenade, or you can just cut these um, secure cameras off their things. Which can easily be done by just cutting the uh, actual support that they're on. Brighton, wait, there are active IR sensors in the area. Part of factory security After you do that, they stay for the enemy so, may be using it. just have to use AR mode there. Oh, didn't use AR mode there, so now we've got turrets attacking and... They are a gecko, right? No, oh, I mean, this is gonna bother me forever. There'll be no end to the bothering that'll be going on. There we go. Ow. It shot out of the air. Oh, and since I bought the upgrade, you can now see that I have an extra cell to the uh, the blade mode meter, in which if it's even if it's not full to the top, I can still do things. Oh god, I'm an idiot. I have to fight some of these guys. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, that's why um, grenades and stuff are useful. Because you can do stuff like that. You get rid of annoying enemies and save them for enough for you to do a ton of damage to. Actually, I should just cut off their arms. And they can't actually fight me. Even though that's the dishonorable way to do it, it's just easier. 
Hey, give me some blade mode. I can deal with these guys. Wait, are they getting comboed by the security cameras? Really? Is that happening right now? They are actually, I, I believe they're being comboed right now. That's sweet. I can't tell what's going on right now. If you screw up like I just did, things get pretty hectic. Especially on your first playthrough, you just kind of get like screwed over. I think that every enemy in this facility right now just came. So the rest of the time, sneaking shouldn't be a problem, but I should really be using a jamming grenade, but Ow, I was really bad timing with that. Oh god, no! Oh, he had an arm, but I cut it too short. Damn it. You know what? I didn't mean to do that. I'll just restart at the checkpoint. Because, I mean, I screwed up anyway. So I might as well. And it's a stream, so everything's live. This is what happens behind, no team must behind the be thing. Find him. Behind the desk. I'll just run past all these guys and not even come down. Okay, AR. Riders, wait. There are active IR sensors in the area. Part of factory security, no doubt, but the enemy may be using it. Easy enough to dodge all of these. Oh, and you can even see where they would be, so you found them really easy. But I was just too, like, trying to speed run it. Okay, that guy's got the arm. There. They saw me, but it's okay. Trust me, it's okay. I should have the box by now, but I haven't picked it up, because I'm an idiot. I just gotta get it in it. I'm cutting these down. They're obnoxious. No! Oh! Stop! Stop! Fuck it. I have to restart because that guy's the one with the arm. Damn it. I said I wasn't going to get all the arms, but now I want to get all the arms. Oh, good. I started in this room. That's a normal chest. I can... Oh wait, that guy didn't have the arm, I don't think. He's the one with the arm. Oh, that guy. Okay. That guy. Oh god, okay, hold on. I hate... I'm... Okay, hold on, hold on. Fuck this! Wow, I'm going to die. I definitely do not have a cardboard box right now. I'm an idiot. Okay. Restart. Let's actually attempt to stealth this. Do I have jamming grenades? If so, that'll make this easier. Actually, no, I'm not supposed to have a cardboard box yet. Good. I do not have jamming grenades, but I have this. I should just... Uh, my advantage. The first time you can actually throw a magazine in MGS game. That should help. Good. Okay, I can get the arm and I don't care about the rest of the fighting. Are you serious? I messed up the arm! Uh, uh, uh. I hate my life. I need to pee. The boss is, like, a second away. Okay. Let's get that magazine out. No. What I wanted. No. How did I throw this before? Because that was a really good throw on my part. That didn't go high enough. Fuck. I 
think it was more the waiting period I did. Okay, let's actually cut this right here. There we go. Okay. Good. I did it once. Now I can care less about the rest of these guys. Oh, he shot a rocket right past my head. What an idiot. Ooh, first cut too. Now I should hide down here. While I'm hiding down here, see that whole section was supposed. You're basically supposed to get caught. So you run down here, while all those mean enemies are up there, and you're like, "Hey, look, a cardboard box." There's definitely someone in there. Cut that. Nice hiding spot. You get a dude, but he pleads for his life. So I'm just gonna spare him. But yeah, that's one of the collectibles. Um, they're the MIBs, the men in boxes. And if you find all of them, you get a special weapon. I know, I'm pretty sure I know where every single one is, so that's the only reason I'm doing that. I knew that um, hand was there, that's why I was messing over it, plus I just didn't want to die. So, we go out here, up one of these, down here, there's another special box that I have to get rid of the breed to actually get to. That, you don't need blade mode. Blade mode, and that'll give us more health, so now we got 120. Which is good because the uh, boss is right up those stairs on the other side, so button. Good, I wasted my 3D photo frame for nothing. Here's lead us to the boss, Mistral. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral, the cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. <sighs> but I butchered those fuckers. What? My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan, I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. <sighs> it seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them.
So, yeah. Um, there's one thing I hope I can get right now that I need to call Dr. Or for. Shall we review the capabilities of you? Copy that. As no. You as your no. Blade, sir, and your I don't care about this. I'm just going to ca keep calling Dr. Or. I'm... Oh? But I, I'm not anyway. Blah 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 blah. Don't care. Doctor is one of my favorite characters in this game, though. Indeed. And you no, I don't care. I need to talk about Mr. Al. So she uses an ordinary arm composed of tripods. I cannot imagine how she controls such a thing all on her own, but it is quite intriguing. Stay with me here, Doc. I need to destroy it, not study it. Yes, but just look at it. How it doubles as a weapon. And so this elegant, might not be so the thing. I might have missed it, but I'm just gonna check. I, I'm pretty sure I missed it. I think even you when you first saw her, you that's when you were supposed to call him. But basically, he starts oogling her boobies. Take forever. He's not like, oh, those are the only thing organic on her. Those are real. Of course, even if she, the electric... Yeah. Desperados I might be able to get it. Yes, but true. Why? Mm? Of course. So and that you must Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Okay, anyway. So I love Mistral. Mistral's boss fight. It's pretty cool. I mean you got all these um guys around here that you have to fight, but it's the first like actual like person on person boss fight in the game that you actually have a fair chance against. And there's a lot of things you can do, and you have to cut her weapon in half. And then you can start doing a lot of damage to her, and cutting off, like, the body parts, and then she actually can't attack you for a while. And there goes my no-hit run, because stupid go things. I swear to god, they got a name, but I can't remember it for the life of me. It's pro you know, when you get one thing stuck in your head, and then you can't actually get the real answer. But yeah. This fight was the first fight I actually S, like, S rank and no hit run on. But yeah. Like, it's one of my favorite fights in the game. Plus, I actually, uh, it's my favorite song in the game, too. So, it's, the song is A Stranger I, I Remain, and her weapon is called Le Tanger, which is Stranger in French. And... This, her backstory is basically an entire uh, giant reference to Albert Camus, uh, Albert Camus, whatever his face is, um, the book The Stranger, in which um, Marcel, he is also um, half French, half Algerian, main character. If you just listen to the lyrics of the song, it's all about not knowing your place in life, being a stranger. Being different from the rest of society just does come through I know. So was. Yeah. Ow. I don't know. It's just that I read that, that this last year. In a... Well, the year... Last school year being... Um, yeah, it's junior. Shoot, I messed up. I didn't cut the right place. I can cut it now, it's just that I have no place to actually cut it. And this is why dodging comes, like, the invincibility frames and dodging, they come extremely important during this fight. Ouch. Oops. I didn't even cut her weapon for this part. We're on to the third phrase. Oh, this is where her... And this is where she gets all the really annoying attacks. Like that. Oh no, I can't see her! I was locked onto one of the... things. God, what are the names? Whatever. Screw it. Ouch. Stupid thing. Okay, that's it. Rocket launcher. Where are you? Hey! I blocked it while I did damage to her. That's good. Oh wait, it's still all broken up from when I... These things need to go. Die. Okay. Good. 
She sort of dodges away from blade mode too. My random like block tapping sort of thing I've been doing isn't really a good way to do it, personally. Because honestly you're just gonna be blocking the entire time and not actually countering, carrying, stuff like that. And the only real annoying thing about this fight is the all the spurs out of the It just doesn't sound right. Well technically they're tripods. Hey, for some reason I dodged that. Oh, she's 0.9 damage away right now from actually going into the insta-kill phase. Where is she? I keep walking onto the stupid enemies. She keeps hitting me at the exact moment where I get invincibility frames from, um... He's dodging place. Where are you? There we go. Wow, I'm doing really poorly right now. I was doing really good in the first two. There we go. Like that. There we go. Now I can just keep killing her. I should be going to the final thing right now. Oh right. He's actually attacking. There we go. Cool. Fight over by the way. Wish you could read Russian. That's cool, and by the way. Yep. We froze her, and now we're cutting her out. Oh, really? What the hell? Oh, I ran out of um, blade mode, that's why. Yeah, I'm probably only gonna get a B. Actually, a C. <laughs> oh, well. If this was real life, actually no, that would only bring me back to the last um of the three. That's sad. Oh well. When I got that S rank, I was full like stats and everything, so it, I just cut through her easily. But oh well, you win some, you lose some. I like you all of my I love you with all my heart. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. She's not talking to you, idiot. You You killed her! You fly your nuts! Murder her! That's rich coming from you. It's over, Dosayev. Surrender. I can't read that. <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russia money to make Russia money. It is no plan for our cause. It is their Oop, Not letting that drop. <gasps> but now. They will be free! That's eh, cool. Damn. Crazy son of a bitch. Raiden? Raiden, what happened? Bastard blew himself up. I see. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Landing zone. Understood. You can't get that kind of thing. That lingo. Okay. Yep. And that's the end of chapter one. Let's see what I got. For oh, a B? Yeah. I got an S to start with, and then it just went downhill. Oh well. That's 8,000 BP. That's cool. 
Okay, so that's enough for the night. Already played through this. And we got her weapon, the La Tanger Stranger. I already talked about that. Okay, so garden body. Yeah, and I'll do that. And good. Cool. I'll probably stream this again maybe next weekend. I don't know. Maybe.